Hey guys, it's Jen from My Create Crafts. Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy tip. I swear, if I would have known this earlier, it would have saved me a lot of time and trouble. I don't think you can see it that well, but on here I have um, some cutout um, car decals. And before I was weeding it and it took me forever, most of the words or the letters would pull up. Um, so I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way that I wish I would have known earlier. So I'm using some transfer tape. I love this transfer tape. It's huge. And I'm just going to take some off really quick. You can do this individually. You can do it the way I'm doing it. I just do this all at once so I'm not cutting them out. So I just take them my file and I put it upside down on my transfer tape and again you can do these one at a time if you want you can do them all together I just do them all together because I'm doing so many of them and if you guys have not seen my video on making car decals I would definitely go back and check that out because those are my number one sellers last year was my egg cartons this year it is these car decals so go back and check that out if you have not already so all I'm doing is just cutting around it doesn't have to be neat right now because you're going to go back anyway and cut it out again. So I just started with this first one. So this one, I don't think you can see it. I'm having a hard time seeing it. It says support local farmers. And I'll show you after I'm done weeding this how sim how um, delicate this was, I should say. So I have just got this. It's just a little roller. So what you want to do is roll on your transfer tape really well. Or you can use your scraper, you know, whatever you guys have. So here is the tip. I swear, guys, if I knew this earlier, oh, it would have been such a life changer. So what you want to do is now you have it on here, right? You didn't weed anything. Now what you want to do is actually kind of reverse weed, I guess. So what you want to do is take your vinyl and pull it off. And it's going to be difficult for me. So I'm pulling off the back just like this. So do not throw the back away after you are done with it. You are going to need that. So I'm basically reverse weeding. So I'm saving the back. And now I'm going to go in and weed everything. And then you'll be able to see how intricate each of these pieces are. Sorry about that. I had to find my weeder. So another tip is these things. I love these as weeders. I do not buy the Cricut brand. I get these from Harbor Freight. I think there's six of them for like two bucks. It's amazing. So now basically all you want to do is pretty much reverse weed. I'm going to start with the bigger side. So I'm taking the vinyl and I'm getting the side and I'm just going to peel it up. This is going to leave all the little pieces on your transfer tape. Hope you guys can see this. It's harder for me to do, but I'm going to show you really quick holding this. So I'm pretty much basically reverse weeding. But <laughs> I swear this goes so much quicker and it's so much easier, especially with these little tiny pieces in here. I'll show you when it's all done what it looks like. I probably spent a good 20 minutes just doing one of these, trying to weed it out because the pieces, the words are so small. And then something just hit me. I don't know why I thought of this. Maybe I've seen it a while ago. I don't know, but I saw it or I just started doing it. So here you can see it already. So it just says support local farmers. Now you just gotta go back in and just weed those little pieces in between here. All right, guys, can you see this a little bit better? So now I'm just going to go in and weed all of these little pieces. I swear this is so much easier than going in the other way. It's a little bit kind of trickier, I guess, because you are working with the stickiness of your transfer tape, but I swear it is so much easier. When I was weeding this out before, I was pulling up all of these... Dang it, doesn't want to come off. <laughs> I was pulling off all of these little pieces right here. So this way, you're reverse weeding it. It makes it so, so much easier. Now you're just going in and you're pulling everything out. I hope this makes sense to you guys because this is a total game changer for me. This is how I'm going to be doing every time I weed something. This is how I'm going to be doing it. So like I said, it took me about 20 minutes just to do one of these before. And this took me, what, two minutes to do this, if that? So there, I'm done, just like that. And you already have the transfer tape, so now you guys can see what it looks like. Support local farmers. So like I said before, if I can get this off my fingers, there we go. These little pieces, 
they would come up. I could not get those to stick. So the last thing you want to do is, like I said, you want to save this. You want to put it back on here. So you don't want to use the side with the uh, lines on the back. So you just want to go ahead and find the center of this, especially if you're going to be selling these. You want it to make it look nice and neat. So there you go. And then you just take your scraper or your roller, whatever you have, and roll it back on there. And then you just go ahead and cut out the extra transfer tape on the side. But I swear, I've been going nuts with these uh, car decals, and I just found this out. If Did you guys know about this before? Did, were you guys hiding it from me to know how to do this? This is crazy. It is such a game changer. So I'm going to show you one more thing, too. Really quick, let me finish cutting this. So another thing before I was having problems with is getting it off of the transfer tape. Now, you already know it's stuck to your transfer tape. So when you sell it, you just sell it just like this. And again... I only I have not only have videos on how to make car decals I also have a video on how to package them so I will leave that in the uh, description below in case you're interested but seriously guys I hope this helped you out because even if you have the worst things the smallest details in these to um, weed this is the easiest way to go so again I have all of these that I'm going to go ahead and do but I just put it on one huge piece of transfer tape instead of doing one individual one like this other one, I'm going to do it really quick and then I'll show you guys what it looks like, but it's so much easier this way. There's little tiny words in here that when I was doing it before, all my little letters were coming up and it was driving me crazy. So I'm going to finish this one and show you what it looks like, but I just wanted to give you that quick tip. All right, and here it is, guys. Literally, that took me less than a minute to do this. And as you can see, I was missing the O in here, or sorry, the O an hour, so I just put that one back. But I mean, this was so much quicker than going in and um, getting these small little words on here. That would have been impossible. Like I said, I threw out so many because I messed up so many times on it. So again, you just want to go back on your little transfer tape here, transfer tape piece, and then just rub it down again and then cut it out. But I hope this tip really helps you out because it definitely helped me out. I hope you like this video tutorial. I know it was quick, but I hope it really helps. If you did like it, please give me a thumbs up. Leave some comments below. I love hearing your guys' comments. And let me know, do you have any uh, tips that I can share with our viewers? Um, let me know, but I hope this helps you out. Be crafting, everyone, and hopefully this really helps. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.